Hello, 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 and welcome to Prog Review 603, I believe. We're going to get some culture now. Uh, oh, this isn't prog. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, it's different. There are no Mellotrons or Goblins or, or Men in Capes. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, oh, this is this is too much like progressive music. Oh, I hear them complain. For I'm talking about this. It doesn't. It's shiny. This is um, uh, a Lorena Bleu. Hey, I'm a cunning linguist. Uh, by Midori Takada and La Fonda. Yes, this is the first new music recorded by uh, Midori Takada in near 20 years. Um, yes, and what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Um, you can actually watch this. You can actually go and watch this um, on the YouTube because they released the, the video performance of it, which is... Sublime, it is just oh, some of you go, Oh, it's loaded pretentious wank. That's fine, that's fine. I like pretentious wank because that's isn't that what progressive rock is? You're missing the point, guys. Um, but those of you who aren't familiar, Midori Takada is just a fantastic musician. She pre predominantly she's a percussionist, um, and with this, uh, it is percussion, you know, lots of like ethnic. Percussion, lots of stuff going, little stuff going, lots of stuff going on. Oh, words! Why have you deserted me? Um, but you, you get the drift. It's there's lots of um, percussion happening, and also uh, there is um, vocals from La Fonda. Um, there's this, yeah, haunting, haunting vocal line that's sung over the top of this backdrop provided by Takada. And oh, I just I just love it. It ooh, it puts the shivers up me. You know, it, it really it draws me in. It, it's a very atmospheric piece. It draws you in. It unfolds before you, and then it resolves itself. And it is ethereal. It is a, like I say, it's a thing of sublime beauty. That's without the visuals. I'm just talking about this. In fact, I have to show you this. Um, well, this isn't. I mean, it's just one song, um, you know. So, you know, you know, it's yeah. There you go. It's just one track, okay? So you're not getting a whole album's worth. I might just tell you that it's about. I don't know. But is it about 20 minutes? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how long it is, but because it goes really fast, right? It really involves you. It's one of those things that it comes and it goes, and you go, wow, that was um, great. I wouldn't necessarily advise you buying the, the vinyl unless you're. A vinyl addict, though it is, they reckon it is. Uh, some places it's out of stock already, so you know. But anyway, I have to show you this, so I'm not sure how. Whoops, I'm not sure how. So there's your vinyl, right? And that's your one song, right? That's your one song on the vinyl. But then you flip it around. I've got to make sure it's the right way around. Is it? No, no, that's it. And then I don't know if you can see that. There's an etch side with a fox. The Renard Bleu, they're talking about the Blue Fox. And it's a lovely, lovely etching. Um, so, yeah, but like I said, there is a, a, vis a visual representation of this for free, which you can go and check out. And it is absolutely marvellous. It is just, it's a great bit of arty, farty stuff, you know. I don't expect, I don't expect any of you to like it, but I do. I thought it was good. So yeah, um, yeah, it's 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 fairy tale like. It's uh, you know again, it's a story of a fox. Someone calling to the blue fox. Um, so yeah, you have, have uh, it's almost it's, it's almost tribal in places. Not not heavy tribal, you know, just the, in hypnotically tribal. Um, and then you got like I say, you got this lilting, haunting vocal. Uh, and I think again, it's 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 great to hear this kind of music out there again. You know, uh, many of you, like I say, you you'll be on your little prog crusade, you know, buying stuff from Inside Out and K Scope, and I'll and I'll balk at you for that is not prog. Now this is truly prog. It's you know because it, 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 you have oh the dreaded I hate New Age. I hate the, the whole ugh, New Age thing, but. 
it's that new age ambient vocal classical experimental we'll do some we'll, in the video we'll add some dance to it it's a multimedia extravaganza even um but yeah i thought it was very um very very captivating and i've become a very big fan after hearing uh, through the looking glass which i have reviewed again i didn't know anything about the album you read something and I, that's what i love about music is sometimes you you're not looking for you're not looking for it and it falls into your lap and you're hypnotized again and that's what i like and this is a very hypnotic piece again if you like you've got to like certain a certain kind of progressive music you've got to like ambient new age percussion um even I mean, actually i'm gonna i'm gonna throw out there if you like um like mike oldfield if you like incantations and stuff like that which has a a, a very percussive beat running through it you might want to check this out you know because you know midori takada you know if you know if the planets are aligned i could see her playing with oldfield i could i mean it's a shame she never worked with um i don't know brian eno or laurie anderson you know but you know I guess it was never meant to be. You never know; it might might yet happen. Um, but yeah, like I say, some, there's a mixture of of of, of instruments, uh, bells, uh, marimbas. Who doesn't love a marimba? Peter Gabriel, he loved a marimba, didn't he? See what I'm doing? I'm trying to I'm trying to get you excited for it. Um, marimbas, <coughs> water phones, many different drums. If you just go go and look at a drum kit, go and look at a drum kit, man. Go and look at some of her videos. Bigger drum kit than Carl Palmer. See what I'm doing? I'm trying, trying to get the. Yeah. Pearls before swine. It is pearls before swine. No one's gonna. This was it gonna get 300 views? This video, if I'm lucky. And I really like it. All the stuff I really like, and I'm enthused about. You fuckers. I can't. I can't get you on board. You know, lead a lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Okay. Here's a word for you, Ryuchi Sakamoto. That's two words. You like him? That's got to lure you in, eh? No. Anyway, go and check it out. Um, like I say, it's available on the vinyl, which could be a limited thing. I'm not again. They say limited. You don't. You don't know, do you? Um, there's also if you go to something like Bleep, you can buy the download as a WAV or an MP3. It's only a fiver. Um, or you can, like I say, watch it for free on the YouTube and be hopefully captivated. And maybe you become a fan of uh, Midori Takada that way. You know, maybe that will draw you in. Uh, again, Through the Looking Glass, an excellent record. Again, I didn't even know it existed until I read an article about it and went, oh, 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 oh. And Lunar Cruise, which I'll, I'm still working on that one. You know, it's a little bit harder to, to love, but you know, not every album can be a, be a classic. Um, there's also some very good interviews with uh, Midori Takada on YouTube as well, done recently on the back of this, which you might want to check out. Just put a name in, Midori Takada. Midori Takada. That's the Lion King reference. We've got that one out of the way. I'm just trying to get to 10 minutes. I'm trying to get to 10 minutes, guys, so I can put lots of ads on this. You, you know, you know what I'm like. You know I can't help myself. I can't. I can't. But no, I, I really did enjoy it, and I thought it was brilliant. And I was looking forward to owning the vinyl because they, they released the video earlier. I don't know, maybe a couple of months ago now. And I've had to wait. I mean, it's been delayed, you know, delayed by a week, and I finally got a copy. And I was kind of really looking forward to it. And hearing it without the visuals, completely different experience. But, you know, drew me in. It was exactly as powerful it was it was as listening to it on headphones and watching it on YouTube. So... That's the power of music, and like I said, I'm really glad I found it, and I'm really glad I found Midori Takada, because you know you never know what you're going to bump into. You know who you're going to bump into next in this this search for music or whatever we want to call it, music quest. That should be that should be a thing. Actually, I should do that, shouldn't I? If I knew what it was. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. I've been talking about uh, this. This is uh, Midori Takada and La Fonda's Le Renard Bleu, the Blue Fox. And it is great. I loved it. Um, bollocks. I'm going to give it five Blue Foxes out of five because I think it's great. 
sod it that it, it was an expensive bit of vinyl, 16 quid, 17 quid. I don't care. Sometimes something is just so good. It's just good. And on that, so no more thing left to say, and that is Progon! <laughs>